Hey guys, DMS here. Today I have for you a comparison between the HD 6XX, the HD 560S, and the Bayer Tiger 300R. Let's check it out. So these are all headphones that I have highly, highly recommended the 6XX over many years and the 560S and the 300R over the course of this year, 2020. So let's talk about all three of these headphones since they're in a similar price range, which is the best for certain things, which is right for you if you're considering any of them, and what some of their strengths and weaknesses are across the board. I have a couple amps set up over here also. Uh, we'll get into amplification near the end of it. Let's talk about build first, then comfort, then sound, then amplification and who these headphones are for. Before we get too far into this, I know that at least 40% of the people watching this video are not subscribed. So do me a favor, click that subscribe button. It only takes you about a second, but it helps my channel out significantly. I appreciate it. So build wise, none of these are crazy exceptionally well-built headphones. They are pretty affordable, all things considered in the headphone world, but they're still built well enough to last. The design of the HG 560S is similar to the 598, which is certainly a time-tested headphone, as is the design of both of these others. This is a similar build to the HG 650, HG 600, and HD 580, which have been around for well, almost as long as I've been alive. And then the Bayer, well, it's built just like the DT880, the DT990, and many other famous Bayers that have been around forever. All three of these designs are relatively comfortable and relatively well built. Now for my head shape specifically, I find the 6XX to be the most comfortable because it seems to cover the largest surface area with the most even weight distribution on my head specifically. The Bayer has round pads, which because of my large ears, the round pads could be a little bit taller, but I don't think most people are gonna be bothered by this since a lot of people like the comfort of the DT880 and DT990. But I will note the Bayer does have the softest pads out of the three. And then in the middle, the HD 560S is basically the same comfort wise as the 598. Uh, it does have a softer piece up here on top with a notch out in the middle, which is nice. I imagine that as this headphone breaks in and the clamp loosens up uh, and the pads soften up a little bit, the comfort will continue to improve on this headphone, but I will say the comfort on it is better than the vast majority of headphones on the market. So if I had to personally rank the comfort of these three, uh, I would do it just as they're laid out here with the 6XX being the best, the 560S being in the middle, and the Bayer being on the lower end of the three. However, they're all significantly more comfortable than most things in the market, as I said. This will vary depending on your head shape, depending on how long you wear headphones. So take it with a grain of salt. Now, two out of these three do have detachable cables, the 6XX and the HT 560S. The Bayer, the cable is built in, so you can't take it off. That is one big downside for the Bayer, but it is kind of nice that it has metal yokes on it. And it's relatively easy to change out this padding on top if you want something different, like say a pilot pad or something like that. Now the Bayer's are 32 ohms, the 560S is 120 ohms, and the HD 6XX is 300 ohms. So it's pretty easy to see here which one is the hardest to drive to since the sensitivities align accordingly as well. The 6XX takes the most juice. The 560S, you definitely need to run off an amp. Uh, you could get away with running it off of a computer or off a phone if you absolutely had to, but you really do need to run this off of an amp or maybe an audio interface. And then the Tiger 300Rs, you can run off of basically anything. They don't really benefit much from a good amplifier. Something like the Topping L30 was a nice combination with these. They certainly didn't need the power it produced, um, but it was a very clean source to drive these. The 560S is a bit more amp specific than that. Uh, you can drive the 560S off most amplifiers, though it does benefit greatly from something that is solid state and clean. It's just high enough impedance. You can use it on tubes, but Tubes are really much better suited for things like the HD 6XX. The 6XX is the most amp picky of the three. Um, it's going to vary a lot more based off the sources you plug it into. And if you were going to use a 6XX and you're not gonna be using it with tubes, you're doing yourself a disservice. You should be using tubes with the 6XX. It's a phenomenal combination. Now I'm gonna set this Bayer aside for just a moment and talk about these two since they are Sennheisers of the exact same price and they're of a very similar sound signature with just slight departures. So both of these are pretty ding dang flat. But the main differences are this is less warm and it's more extended in the bass and in the treble. Now this affects a number of things. There's also slightly different driver placement in there too, which is gonna affect things like staging and imaging. But if we're talking strictly sound signature, the warmth of the 6XX is very comforting. 
It's a very familiar headphone. It's a very easy headphone to turn up and listen to for a very long extended period of time. The 560S is significantly more analytical. It's basically a dead flat sounding headphone, a great reference, something that I would call truly high fidelity, very faithful to the original source, whereas the 6XX is more of what I would describe as an audiophile headphone. And I think that's where these two depart a little bit. I feel like the 560S is a hi-fi headphone, a headphone that is meant to be accurate to the original reproduction of the song. It's something that is meant to sound like a studio monitor, something used for mixing, something used for critical analytical listening, and in that, it excels. It is one of the best headphones I've heard for just flat analytical listening anywhere near this price point. The 6XX is on the other end of the spectrum. It's a headphone that you put on because you want that warm, lush mid-range. You're gonna sit back, close your eyes, and listen to some songs that you just absolutely love, and you're not gonna pay attention to the small details. Now, that isn't to say that the 6XX isn't detailed. In fact, these two come very close to one another in terms of resolution, though I feel like the 560S certainly edges it out. And I think that those are the two areas where these are going to trade blows the most. The 560S wins in terms of resolution, it wins in terms of soundstage, in terms of imaging, but the 6XX wins in terms of timbre, in terms of its very, very luscious, warm mid-range and its vocal presence, which the 560S does actually come very close to, uh, closer than any other Sennheiser that isn't in the 600 series. In fact, I would say the 560S does a better job of the trademark familiar things we love about the 6XX than say things like the 58X or the 660S. And in many ways, I could see people who like this headphone but want a little more would love the 560S. I know people who absolutely love their 6XX, but sometimes they want more bass. They want a little bit more extension in the sub range. They want a little bit more sparkle on top, a little more treble, maybe a hair more soundstage. And that's what the 560S is. It's more of an extension of the 6XX. And of course we do lose a little bit of that timbre magic, but we're talking very small percentages and changes between these two. In terms of detail, in terms of the timbre, everything, I feel like there's maybe a six to 8% difference between these two headphones. You take out that six to 8% and they could be the same thing. But that's a good thing because this is a headphone that's been so incredibly good that people have loved it for decades. And I'm talking about the HD600, the HD650, the things the HD6XX is made out of. And this is a new generation of that, just in a very, very slightly nudged different direction. Now that we've talked a little bit about these, I wanna bring the Bayer back into the mix. I'm going to line these up real quick. So just like they were before, 6XX over here, 560S in the middle and the Bayer over here. This is gonna be in terms of sound, not necessarily best or worst, but as far as the directions they lean. I feel like this is a true neutral, whereas this, we start to roll off in the lows and highs. This, we start to roll up in the lows and highs. The 6XX has the most narrow staging and the most uh, vague imaging out of the three, whereas the Tiger 300R has the biggest staging and the best imaging out of the three. And then the 560S sits in the middle in perfect balance between frequency response, sound staging, imaging, everything uh, across the board. I've sat down to film this video probably three times, and each time I'll start listening to music over here, I'll turn them all up and start swapping them around, and I'll end up listening to music for like two hours instead of actually making the video. And the reason for that is because all three of these are phenomenal headphones. No matter which one you choose, you're not gonna go wrong, but I wanna say one little thing. If you're wondering which of these is the best for gaming, it's this, it's the PC38X. This is probably the best gaming headphone that I've heard, and I've listened to the very expensive LCD gaming headphone, uh, the Mobiuses, all kinds of other things. The 38X is definitely my favorite gaming headphone. I'm gonna have a review on it at some point in the near future, but if you want just gaming performance, this is it. I'm gonna set this back down, PC 38X. Now, if you have to pick one of these for gaming, it's going to depend on a few things. Are you trying to be extremely competitive and know exactly where someone is at all times? Or are you trying to play for extended durations uh, with a lot of comfort and less fatigue? because this is gonna be the least fatiguing of all these headphones with good enough imaging to get you by. This is going to have the best imaging, but is going to definitely have the most fatiguing sound signature. Uh, weapons fire and things like Warzone are a lot more um, bright, I would say, a lot more impactful. I can't turn the volume up nearly as much with these because it does become um, 
pretty loud at times through this headphone, but it is certainly the easiest to pinpoint accuracy between these three. Once again saying, if you are going to be playing games and you want something for gaming, PC38X is way better than all of these for gaming. Just gonna say that one more time. And then I'm gonna land back here in the middle again and say if you want somewhere in between, the 560S is gonna be that middle ground between um, listening fatigue, comfort, and imaging and accuracy. I feel like this, you can get a little bit more juice out of it than the 6XX without destroying your hearing with gunfire. It has pretty dang good uh, imaging and sound staging. It's got enough bass response to make gaming pretty fun without being boosted and overwhelming. And if you have to have just one headphone for both gaming and music, it's a great choice. So, out of these, if I had to pick one and keep it, which one would it be? I can't answer that question. I know you, I know there's gonna be people that ask me that question, which is my favorite out of the three. Um, I might lean a little bit towards the 560S as my favorite out of the three, but the problem is, is that I love all of them, and all of these are staying as a part of my collection. There are plenty of times where I wanna sit down and I wanna just listen to the 6XX on tubes. It's such a familiar sound that I've listened to for years and years and years. And I love, I love the sound of an electric guitar in the warm lower mid-range of this headphone. There's plenty of times already where I'm working on a video and these have become my primary headphones for editing and things like that. If I'm working on mixing something, if I'm working on uh, editing a video, working on the audio for that video, if I'm doing critical listening and I really wanna get down and figure out some of the ins and outs of an amplifier, there you go, 560S. And if I really wanna hear the details of a song too without going into all the crazy end game gear that I have stacked back in the other room, and the Bayer is just plain fun. It images like a set of speakers. It has great treble, it has great bass. Both of them are a little bit boosted, but I love it. Oh, and the DT880, where does the DT880 fall into this? Well, I feel like the 560S kind of takes the place of the DT880 in some ways. Um, the DT880 has less sub-extension, a little bit more warmth to it, and a bigger treble peak up top. So. If you want that sound signature, the DT-880 is still a great option, and it does scale very well. But out of this group, these are definitely my top three picks. Now, if you have any of these headphones, I wouldn't go out of my way to sell it and get the other two. If you really want something to complement the others, of course, they're a great family of headphones. But if you have the 6XX and think you're totally missing out by not having the 560S, you're not. It's a marginal difference, it's an incremental increase in performance. I've said many great things about this headphone, but remember the 6XX is already an incredible headphone. And likewise, the 560S, if you think you're missing out by not having the 6XX, you're probably not. They're all three excellent. I think that's about it. I think we covered most of our bases. So if you found this video helpful at all, please subscribe to the channel. Just click that little button down there. A like if you liked it. A comment letting me know what you want to see in the future. If you want to get early access to my videos and help support the channel, there's a Patreon linked in the video description. If you want to get active in the community, you can at forum.hifiguides.com. And as always, don't forget to stick around and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Until the next one, guys. Peace.